Hi, I'm the Tabletop Teacher, and in this video, I'll be unboxing a whole case of Joker's Wild Hero Clicks. A case has two bricks in it, so that's 20 boosters in all. In each booster, I'll be showing you the rarity distribution at the top of the screen, you'll get a group shot of all the figures pulled, their names, and a picture of the rarest figure in the booster. The bottom of the screen, you'll see a rarity tally of everything pulled uh, throughout the case. What do we get in our first booster? Wow! Earth shattering pull! We started with a chase, a bizarro Batman right off the bat. <laughs> well, okay, now let's see what we get in the second booster. Oh, very nice indeed. That is the super rare Joker with all the ha ha ha's behind him. He's absolutely beautiful. That's the the, the cover of which comic? Is it not not the Killing Joke? Uh, anyway, amazing figure, Be absolutely beautiful. Now we got three commons, an uncommon, and a rare. That's a pretty common rarity distribution. We have a sketch variant of Firefly in this one. He's absolutely beautiful uh, with the clicks effects base. Those are very nice. Okay, what do we get in booster number four? Another Clix FX base. That's very nice. This one goes with Katana, a beautiful figure. Oh, that's going to be nice to play with. Does that sound weird? <laughs> okay. Um, booster number five. What do we get in here? Two commons, two uncommons, and one rare. This one is the Spectre. Very beautiful piece with a little tombstone there and a sketch variant of Bronze Tiger as well. Booster number six. Wow, this is Man Bat. He's absolutely huge. That's, that's a beautiful figure. Look at this. Wow, amazing. I really wanted this one. I'm, I'm super happy about this pull. I definitely say, so far so good. What's waiting for us at booster number seven? Oh, Killer Moth, along with two commons, two uncommons. Oh, that's a sketch variant of Rachel Ghoul. That's a very nice booster right there. Those are nice figures. And you know, Killer Moth is a very good figure for new players. Uh, no special powers on the dial, starts with running shot. What do we have in booster number eight? Uh, two, three, three commons, one uncommon and one rare. Uh, what, uh, we have a, a roller skating uh, Harley Quinn. I think she has hypersonic speed in some circumstances. Booster number nine, we have two commons, two uncommons, one rare, and this one is Grace. I, I don't know Grace. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll discover Grace through hero clicks. We have in the last booster of the first brick, there we go. Wow, Plastic Man with another Clix FX base. He's super cool. I remember not being a big fan of Plastic Man back in the day, but uh, I'm sure he's going to make for a, a, a very fun Hero Clix figure. Brick number one was absolutely amazing. Let's see what brick number two holds for us. And the first booster in there, booster 11, uh, we have three commons, one uncommon, and a super rare Johnny Thunder. Uh, another character I don't know. You know, it's fun to discover characters through Hero Clicks. I always look them up on, on Comic Vine or other websites. Okay, booster number 12, two commons, two uncommons, one rare. This one's a sketch variant of Sandman. You know what, these sketch variants, I like to get both figures. I like to get the sketch variant and the full color one. Okay, next booster, we have three commons, one uncommon, one rare. I think that happens more often than not. And we have Talon in this one. Oh, wow, he's beautiful. He's, he's throwing knives. Uh, that's a very nice figure indeed. What are we getting in? Booster number 14 here. Oh, Killer Croc. I think this is our first swimmer in the set, is it? Uh, I don't know if there were any more. Uh, wow, he's absolutely gorgeous with all the you know, popping out of a sewer or something. A hey, booster 15, what do we have here? Wow, that's the Killing Joke Joker. That's the Killing Joke Joker. There we go. He's the one with the camera. He's absolutely beautiful with his Hawaiian shirt and everything. Amazing figure. He's 140 points. That's uh, very costly in that set. Next, we have El Diablo. He's got a Clix FX base as well. I think it's the same one as, as Firefly. Uh, that's that deals one penetrating damage at the beginning of a turn when a character has that on him. That's very powerful. I really like that Clix FX base. Ooh, super rare Geoforce. I, he's very strong. 160 points. Uh, he can create a barrier, just a single square of it though, and he can break through walls. That's going to be interesting on the field. And now we have, is that Dr. Fate there? Yes, Dr. Fate, one of my favorite characters. I don't read enough of those comics though. I feel like, I, I just like what the character looks like. Okay, only two boosters to go. 
Now we have the Joker with his uh, squirting flower gag. He can actually make a close combat attack up to three squares away with that. With the acid and the acid in the flower, uh, it deals one penetrating damage. So that's very good. And our last booster, we have wow, a prime, a rare prime, uh, Looker. I, I don't know who Looker is. Again, uh, that's one of the characters I'll discover. I'll have fun discovering through playing with this set of hero clicks. So what did we get in there? As expected, we got all the commons, apart from the Prime here, Anarchy. Same thing with the uncommons, we're just missing Manhunter Prime. In the rares, oh, I really wish I got Deadshot. We have three more to complete the set, that's not too bad. We're missing seven to complete the super rares, that's, you know, to be expected. I really wish I got Mr. Freeze, the Penguin, the Riddler, there's so many I wanted in there. That's the whole overall booster distribution. I hope you enjoyed this video, I wish you good luck with your pulls, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Tabletop Teacher, and as always, thanks for playing with me.